Well, hey there, everybody. This is Embrace the Matrix, and this is another voiceover. This is the type of painting that just about every painter at some point in their career has come across, and that is knowing when to say when. You have an idea, you're going to put it down, you're following through, you're liking what you see, and you just don't freaking stop. And next thing you know, you're painting over your painting, basically, and you're doing something completely different than what you originally envisioned because you just didn't know when to say when it's like drinking you know just gotta know when to say when well i don't drink anymore and i never knew when that was the when to say when thing but anyways yeah, so I got these new canvases. They're uh, 36 by 12s, so they're really long and skinny. Um, and I was really excited. Uh, and that's my brush falling, the tip of my brush falling off. It's pretty stupid. Um, but anyways, uh, you know, so I got these new canvases, and I got a bunch of new golden paint. I got a bunch of new golden jars. So I was, you know, I was really excited. I really slapped down this paint. And yeah, um, I was gonna do a take on uh, one of my fusion paintings and split the colors and you know get some white and black in the middle. And yeah, so so far so good, right? Um, I think this is pyre red or something. Uh, I don't know. I don't know all the fancy names. I know it's just it's a really nice, bright, vibrant red. And the other thing too is I was doing this around. Uh, right before 4th of July, so, you know, the whole Independence Day, 4th of July, you know, patriotism or whatever, election time, Clinton versus Trump, all that craziness going on, so I was sort of feeling somewhat, you know, patriotic when I was doing this, or I had sort of a patriotic, I don't want to say theme, but, you know, it was there, um, because we got the red white and blue and pretty soon black um so you know this is kind of going a similar path uh, of uh, my fusion series and uh you know i had some ideas for doing this with a hybrid with some lines and yeah i mean you know so far so good you know it's we're moving along i mean i'll i'll tell you exactly when we hit the point of no return But uh, I really like, I can tell you this, I really like these golden paints. They're expensive, I know. Um, I found a really a really good guy selling a, with a good deal on eBay. And, of course, you know, my first shipment came in and the lids weren't all the way screwed down. So there was paint all over. And it was a pretty mess. I've posted some pictures on my Instagram and on my uh, Art Amino uh, page. But, yeah, fortunately the seller's, you know, making good on it and uh, going to replace some of the paints. But, nonetheless, yeah, these golden paints are the bomb. Uh, or get yourself some Michael's coupons, 40% off, 50% off, and you can go up there and get you some. Yeah, at this point I was uh, throwing some lines in. You know, I'm still very pleased with where the direction's going. This is, this is the idea I had. It was kind of like a hybrid of a few of my different styles. Um, I'm just, you know, using a palette knife for all of this. Um, throwing some colors, you know, on. Trying not to turn it into mud. You know, you, that's the problem, too. You get too many colors going. You know, you're blending too much. And next thing you know, you got this weird brownish-red thing color. And it looks like somebody just pooped on your canvas. Um, so I try to de use the color sparingly. And you know, you know, a lot of these line pictures, depending on how I go about it, they kind of find a center point 
um, even though it might not be in the center, but kind of the lines seem to dictate where, uh, you know, where they're going to go. And as you can see, you know, towards the top there, you know, I'm kind of got this little like explosion center point thing happening and we're looking great. You know, we're just, uh, we're cruising. I'm feeling good. I got some, um, you know, most assuredly has some music going and, um, you know, we're painting. We're having a good time. We're putting paint on a canvas. We're creating. And in, in a little bit here is when uh, we go we go bad. It goes very bad. I don't know what I was thinking. I mean, this is why I love making these videos, but I think the voiceovers will be good because I can tell you exactly what's going on, when it's going on, what happens. No, wait, wait don't get me wrong. This painting turned out awesome in the end. I'm just saying, you know, you can make one move and it can change, like, you know, change the whole everything. See, even at this point, I'm like, all right, cool. I like my little center explosion line thing. I'm just going to throw a few heavy, like, white lines over here. And then I'm thinking, Let's get this, you know, oh, yeah, I threw a few splatters on. I'm like, okay, here we go. Look at those nice splat lines. And I'm like, let's get the bottle of white. Yeah. The, the squeeze bottle. And let's let's try that. Let's see what happens. So I'm like, oh, boom. That would have been all right right there. Ooh, there's where we kind of screwed up. If I'd have left that single line, we'd, we'd be gravy. But then I went and tapped it on the floor. Oh. Yeah, um, at this point, I'm pretty mad. I threw a little black on, thinking that was going to do something. Nope. So what do we do? Oh, goodness. Grab a string. Let's try to make some lines out of this. As you can see, I mean, all that work put into those colored lines is with the, with the, with the squeeze and the spray of a squeeze bottle completely screwed it up. But, you know, this happens. And of course, then I go for a brush. Let's get a brush. Let's just let's turn this into muckle luck. You know, let's see what happens. All the whole time, I'm just like, you know, I'm letting it go with the flow. To be perfectly honest with you, I mean, it. You know, I kind of, in my opinion, messed it up. Messed up what I was going for. Um, you know, I, I'm a Bob Ross fan, so I know there's no nothing but happy accidents out there. But still. They, uh, you know, I had an idea. I wanted it to be brightly colored and go. And then we kind of just kind of, here we go. Black, red, and white. Which, hey, don't get me wrong. This is some of my favorite color combinations. Um, but then I'm like, you know, we got a lot of paint on this canvas. Let's throw a little texture in here. Let's get some scrapes. Um, but you'll see in the end. It, it definitely took on a life, a complete morbid hybrid life of its own. But nonetheless, uh, it turned out really cool and, you know, has a good story and a good history behind it because you can see where it started and where it was going and where it ended up. And this is a classic case of completely going off the rails. Um, but like I said, I still like how it turned out. But man, this is a great example of not knowing when to say when. If I would have just stopped right before I put that squeeze bottle lines on I think we'd had one hell of an awesome painting but we, we have an equally awesome painting just in a different sort of style this is much darker certainly a lot more angry because at this point I'm mad at this canvas this canvas betrayed me this canvas didn't put out the vibe the signal to just stop you know sometimes it almost feels like the canvas puts the brakes on for you and sometimes you need to. At this point, you can see when you see the, the knuckles on the table, then we're thinking, what do we do now? Okay, we're going to let this bad boy dry. Okay, now we got to bring it. Let's try to brighten it up. Throw some white in there. But yeah, you know, sometimes you put the brakes on, but I think a lot of times a canvas will, will shout out to you, enough. That's it. No more. And I've had, I literally felt like that on some paintings where I was like, that's it. Stop. This one. You know, this is a new size canvas for me. And when you get a new size, you know, a new size, you know, canvas to paint on, you know, you don't know 
what to expect, I guess. You know, you're not sure. You're used to working on larger canvases or smaller, more squared. And you're like, wow, this thing is long and skinny. And what am I going to do with it? But I, like I said, I had a plan. I had an idea. And this is where we're headed. Um, but, yeah, this is this is taking it out on a canvas. You know, this is really, let's let's... Let's make it feel it, because I feel like this canvas let me down. I really do, in the, you know, in the interim. But we're taking it back. We're winning the battle here in the end. As you can see, this is this is some good paint slinging here for you. We're gonna we're gonna make this thing really cool and really bizarre. And yeah, that's why it's called uh, Defactum. If uh, you've seen, you know, about half of my paintings have. Uh, Latin titles, Latin words. Trans so you know, do it. Take it upon yourself to get your Google out and translate them and figure out what I'm really calling these paintings. I just think Latin words have really cool uh, phonics or sound to them. So yeah, so we're slinging. We got some good. Uh, I really like those red streaks. I think those that that red that crisscross is just awesome but uh, so it's you know oh and I'm just hitting it with some water just or no not water uh, liquid um, I'm sorry that's uh, that's liquid white latex or liquid uh, ink by Liquitex um, now we're going to throw some dots on this is believe it or not is very difficult to achieve the consistency um, to make a perfect dot <clears throat> perfect circle if you will you got to get the consistency right if it's too thin it splats out looks like a sun if it's too thick it just blobs out and looks like a little slug um, so I'm going for like a perfect circle so yeah it takes uh, there's no f good formula just get the right consistency take you know obviously I test it before I actually put it on a painting to make sure that it's making perfect circles and that's you know that's how you that's how I do that you know so this one this one turned out alright it's, it's it's got some good texture into it it's got some certainly got a good history to it it's very angry very angry painting um, I let this canvas have it let me tell you Let's see I think then um, I throw a green dot in there right in the center a nice bright green dot um, but it wasn't a perfect circle unfortunately so what you don't see on camera here comes the green dot blam you know you got a one-shot deal um, but I actually took a uh, you can't see it in the photo either but I took a razor exacto uh, knife and uh, flared out that green dot so it looks really cool but that's it defectum uh, know when to say when kids walk away when uh, you feel like you've had enough thanks for watching